Hey y'all, it's been a really nice day today. The weather is, I don't even know the degrees, but it's really nice. It's not hot. It's really got a little breeze and sort of comfortable. And I was going to go to my storage and, you know, I'm still looking for stuff since I moved home. And, um, uh, I changed my mind. It was so pretty out here. I got a little piece of property. It ain't very big. Probably 10 foot by 16 foot. Something like that. And so I'm trying to level the ground out. But uh, there is no dirt. Oh, my dad said, oh, I'm stepping on dirt. No, there's a difference between clay and dirt, you know. And, uh... Yeah, since they moved here, all the topsoil was removed, of course. And, uh, so I'm just, uh, you know, using leaves and pine needles and the silt, what it, after the rain uh, comes down and pounds the leaves and twigs and stuff like that, it becomes real fine. And it's uh, not dirt, but it's a real fine crushed, and so I've been putting that in there, and of course that's bringing the um, the earthworms. And worms is good for the soil; it sort of aerates the soil. And then I noticed that there is some wild asparagus growing. Apparently, this property was a farm, and Maybe the guy that planted, must have planted asparagus, or it's just naturally, you know, uh, wild. So I dug all that up because, and planted it in that little area with my gnome, and I got a little door, and then I put some moss around the tree, and then when I find rocks, I put it around my parents' storage. And, um, then, um, I, um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I did all that. Uh, the digging, digging up the, uh, plants was like, it was, the soil was clay, of course. And then I got the clay, and I don't know if you know, but I'm working on a, a little house, a model of a bushcraft house made out of sticks. And I got that clay and then I put it uh, in the front of it like it was really ground. And uh, then I decided to come back. Oh, I have, uh, when I prepare, when I prepare the sticks, I peeled the bark off each stick and some of the bark I debark the bark <laughs> and it may it has the inner lining uh, the inner bark and it's really tough and I I use it to tie the sticks you know to each each other and um, it's a ongoing thing but it keeps my mind busy and trying to think of different ways to make it better and all that. I'm even using pine straw because we don't have these wild grasses around here so I'm using pine straw to thatch the roof and um, so I um, oh and I got some more pine because um, the I don't exactly know how, what it's doing, but the squirrels are are uh, biting off the tips of the pine. It drops to the floor. I think it had maybe green pine cones. And then they've been chewing that up and getting the seeds out. And then there's that pine pieces all over the place. So I'm using that pine straw uh, to uh, make the make the roof and uh, so 
I got the pine straw, I got the clay, um, brought all that stuff in and worked on the, the ground part of my little house and, um, which by the time I get through with it, I hope I, it works out the way I want. I'm going to put it outside and let the little people have it, you know, and even, even put, a uh, little tiny solar lights in it. I hope it works out anyway. It's going to have a little fireplace that really works. But I'm not sure if it'll work or not. I've never made one before. This is just an idea. It keeps your mind preoccupied and you sit down and don't do nothing and have nothing to do. Your mind will eventually fade. You'll be probably go into dementia or as uh, Alzheimer quicker so if your mind is constantly the wheels are constant going round and round and round then it keeps your brain working a little bit better so that's another thing I do and uh, after I um, did all that I Got through with the ground part. I'm outside right now looking at the birds because I put bird seeds out and they're all flying around me. <laughs> It'd be cool if they could just land in front of me. One's right now, uh, right in front of me. Uh, oh, well, he's gone. Uh, so, I, um, uh, decided, well, I'll come back outside and walk around the property. I had hurt my hand with this little, um, I don't know what it is. It's like a spade, I think. My skin, I noticed, is getting thinner, and it just ripped off about an inch of it, of the skin. But I'm all right. It's just sore, but it ain't going to stop me from working outside. And, um, so I decided to walk across the uh, creek and into the swamp area. I like, and just look at the plants. I just love looking at wildlife and wild plants. Noticing that's like there's some arrowroot and there's like some I don't know bamboo, but it's real small. It's real tiny. It's like a switch or something. And, um, yeah, arrowroot, 